Negative Painting by Doris Charest. Here we're going to talk about what negative painting is, and it's really just the way you paint around the shapes. So here I have some trees, and I'm going to give you visual about what negative painting is. So I'm adding some trees here, and what we're going to do is negative paint around it. And I'll show you the difference between negative painting and positive painting. When you're doing this, just practice first and just put in some basic shapes, just like that. So now negative painting is just taking some paint and painting around the shape. And then you just fill in the areas around the shape and that's all there is to it. Negative painting is not painting the shape, but painting around the shape and making that single shape stand out. So you can do negative painting and still have color within that tree if you want it, but then the painting around it is either lighter or darker, something that makes the subject stand out. So in this case, we're making it darker just so you can see the example. So you're painting around the shape. Take your time and just fill in the spaces. In the beginning, it's hard to see because finding that shape, that negative shape, because we're so used to painting the positive shape, it's actually a challenge and some people have a hard time in the beginning. It's hard to see the shape unless you're really thinking about it. So just paint the shape like that and fill it in. And we're almost there. We're going to fill in some of the other shapes and then you'll have a really good example of what negative painting is. Now I want it really dark because I want it to show I want the shape to show and I'm using only a white shape for the tree so that it's easily seen by you and so that you can really picture what negative painting is. So just take paint and paint around the shape. It's not any more complicated than that, but it feels complicated sometimes when you're actually doing it. And here we're almost done and you can see those tree shapes. See the blue shapes? So that's the sky behind it. The sky is the negative shape. And the positive shape is the trees. And I really like to darken it so you can see. You don't have to have a flat color inside those shapes. It could be a graduated color. It could be multiple colors. It doesn't have to be all the same. It's just so that you can tell that the shapes are negative shapes, the ones that you're painting. Now we're going to try positive shapes, just so you can see the difference. So we're going to paint a tree with the brush and See how now you're painting the positive shape. You're painting the opposite of what you did before. And you're painting the shape itself. And that's called the positive shape. It's not a complicated process, but sometimes it does require a little bit of thinking. So on the left, we have negative shapes. On the right here, we'll have a positive shape, just so you can see the difference. The shapes can be multicolored but it's just to give you the right idea and the concept. So left side, negative shape, right side, positive shape. Now it's your turn. I want you to practice this and see what you can do. Have fun. This is really kind of a tricky process sometimes, so it's worth the practice. See, do this now, and we'll see you in the next section.